Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Be Yourself. This is Dr. Rajni Sharma and today I'm going to deal with the topic FRAP which stands for, for Fluorescence Recovery After Photo Bleach. What actually it is? It is basically a technique to study the mobility of a cell. Previously it was thought that if we generally study the mobility of a lipid bilayer of a membrane but nowadays it is widely used to study the mobility of, uh, uh, of any cell organelles or as well as some of the processes inside the cells like uh, vesicle movements, uh, the detachment of clathrin during the COP1, COP2 quartet mechanisms and all. So let's discuss about this. So first, what we do, we first choose uh, our uh, study interest area where we want to study the effect of their mobility or the rate of their mobility. Suppose this is the shaded area we have chosen to study the effect of uh, or their mobility or the rate of their mobility at that particular area. Then before this, we will tag the area with green fluorescence protein or GF. And uh, after that, we will expose it with a high beam of light. And generally, we use confocal microscopy to photo bleach such area. After photo bleaching, we will stop the supply of the light. And after it gets photo bleached, it, it, as we know, that lipid has certain lateral movement, so it will start moving towards uh, towards its convenient positions. And because of this, this photo bleach area or the intensity of the fluorescence which was bleached because of this light now get recovered. And the rate of diffusion we can calculate with, with the help of this formula where D stands for diffusion constant, W for the radius of the beam and T for the time of the diffusion. Now, when we see certain graph, we always analyze what actually this graph is representing. This, uh, in our x-axis, we have the time period for which we are using the uh, our experiment for the photo bleaching as well as we are examining the recovery of the fluorescence light. And it is the intensity of the fluorescence light. So, this graph this line represents the area, uh, the period where there uh, pre photo bleaching or when we haven't exposed the our study area with the high beam of the light so it is showing the almost a linear uh, line now this is the down area is uh, representing the area for the photo bleaching because of this reason because of the photo bleaching the fluorescence fluorescence intensity is decreasing now it has decreased to almost zero and after that we will leave it to freely diffuse in the media so when it will diffuse freely the, on that time what will happen we will have the recovery of the uh, fluorescence the fluorescence and so this graph represents the fluorescence and from this graph we can analyze the mobile mobile fractions of the uh, lipids or any proteins or any organelles uh, from this technique and the rest of the area above this graph generally represent the immobile fractions I hope you have understood this quite easily and uh, I actually chosen this topic because many of the students has asked me to solve this graph that what actually because uh, the CSI had CSI also has uh, uh, given their answer keys it this is a question from December 2016 and they have only uh, given the right answer for uh, sorry uh, have given the answer for the, what the graph b and a is representing but what about the c and d hope you will have understood this lecture and i now i want you to solve first these questions then i will tell you in my next lecture that what actually this c and d is representing and now we can uh, we can now from uh, this graph we can analyze the what we can analyze the mobility of the uh, protein or lipid and second thing we can analyze the fraction of the mobility so from these two uh, these two 
analysis we can easily relate this graph with this four terms so first you analyze this comment me your answer in my comment box in my channel below your uh, this video and don't forget to subscribe and share my channel so that next time i am going to uh, solve these questions and you will get updated as soon as i will solve these questions and upload the video and uh, you better click on the bell just below just across the subscription button so that you can get notification as soon as i will upload this video and second thing is that i am just going to upload two videos of the same topic one in the english and one in the hindi because i have got lots of mail to explain that to have explanation in hindi so this is the uh, video of the english and if you anyone want a video in the hindi then click on the link in the description box for my hindi lecture that's all goodbye and have a nice day